This morning, I'm running an errand. This print job wasn't cheap, but it was worth it. Collectively, these signs will form a mural on my garage door. The artwork was designed by Sketchy Trails, or Christina. Between her, the printer, and myself, we needed to get the sizing and spacing just right to fit in these cutouts. Between the weight of the insulation and the mural, my garage door is going to need heavier springs. The mural is dedicated to my three main sponsors. Diamondback, Box, and of course, my patrons. In June, they chose a taco bike for their logo. Next year, my patrons will choose something else and will update the mural with a new panel. This piece was designed to look like an extension of the shop, as if we're standing on this cliff overlooking the Blue Ridge Mountains. With this mural complete, it's time for me to show you how the shop has changed. Back in the spring, we built this workshop with pretty basic tools and supplies. From the start, I installed a bench grinder and a sh** vise. You guys wanted me to get a refrigerator, but I decided against it on account of the noise and the heat. I did get a speaker system though, and an air compressor. For all of you who requested a flat screen TV, I got something better. This projector is for live streaming. With a 90 inch projection, I can read your comments from across the shop while working on bikes. Of course, the lights need to be dimmed to make it visible, but that's what I get for using an $85 Amazon projector. Maybe we'll upgrade this in the future. The foam floor has been holding up great, and it's easy to keep clean too. As long as it's dry, this blower makes quick work of leaves, dust, and dried up mud from rides. When the shop is clean, it feels just like another room in the house. Of course, with such a huge door, the shop seems to accumulate bugs. I found a solution for that too. You can throw shop towels at them, but there are just too many. While bug zappers are next to useless outdoors, this one works like magic. With all the lights off and the door closed, this place is a ghost town by morning. This ladder has also become a tool I use every day. For that reason, it lives right next to the workbench on this hook, ready for action on a moment's notice. Since the original build, I added a lot of things out of necessity. This second bike rack will be great for guest parking, and these shelves hide anything I don't want laying out in the shop. I even used this box to organize my spare hardware, with dedicated containers for machine screws, chain, lag bolts, and rubber. Eventually, I'll need something bigger. Most shops have dedicated sticker space. This metal cabinet also stores my gear from helmets to camera batteries. Speaking of which, we built this charging case during a live stream. It opens up to reveal a plug, which powers this USB hub. This can charge all of my cameras and batteries at once, in the shop or on the road. While I do keep most of my non-bike tools tucked away, the left side of the pegboard holds the stuff I use most, like sockets, cordless power tools, and drill bits. While the bins under the pegboard have proven useful, I'm starting to outgrow them. Most shops are a work in progress. My home bike shop has been dubbed the Hack Shack by my subscribers. It's a set for this channel, but also a very functional workspace for everything from hacks to legitimate bike repairs. I hope you found this shop update entertaining. Before you ask where I got something in the shop, check the description for links. There's also a link to the original build video from the spring. Let me know what you think, and tell me about your shop below. 
even if it's the corner of your living room or trunk of your car. Now that my shop is finally done, we can get back to Berm Creek. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.